Hi everyone, in this opportunity, I want to explain how to create stylish form using React TypeScript, Material UI for Mic, and also Yap for the validation. I suggest that you watch the React TypeScript with Formic integration first, so it will become much easier to watch this. I explain how to install Create React App for installing React App, and also integrate Formic with our React form there. Let's move on. Now let's install React TypeScript. First, go to our destination folder and use npx create react app template typescript and dot which means install it in the current folder. Now, open this folder using our IDE. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Open the console and run our React app. I'm using a simple browser inside the Visual Studio Code to show the browser. Open another console and install Material UI for Mic and also Yap. Don't forget to add types for Material UI and Yap. We need the types for TypeScript use. And we don't need one for Formic because they already give the type definition. Done. Close the console. We need the space. Open app.tsx and let's remove all HTML code inside app.tsx. Give a blank element. Blank element means React fragment. This is an easy way to declare it. Okay, now it's become a blank page. Before designing our form, let's meet the container first. The job is to become a container, like its name. We get an error. Why? Because the container needs a children. You can't see the container, right? To see it, we need some styling. Create form styles using make styles method, which receives theme parameter by default. And we need to return the styles. To declare classes of the styles, let's use create styles. Inside this, we can put an object that will become classes for CSS. I will give it container as a class name so it will become clear it's for the container. What CSS parameter do you want to change? For me, I want to change the background color. Let's use red for this one. Not changing, right? It's because we're not applying it. Let's apply it now. Declare the styles using form styles that we created. Set class name attribute on container and use styles.container as its style, just like CSS. You can use normal CSS, but I suggest you to use max styles for this. You will see why after this. We can use theme property to get material UI theme, so it will become organized. And also, we can change it properly using the create theme method. I will tell you how after we're done with this. For now, just use theme.palette.primary. Palette is where the color theme is stored. It has primary and secondary. On each of them, it has dark, light, and main. Let's see. Dark. Light. Main. Okay, I will choose main for now. Let's add padding using theme. Let's add padding using theme the spacing and one as the parameter. One means eight pixels. Two means two times eight pixels. This is the default. Okay, I think it's enough for the container. Let's meet other container named Paper. Give padding to Paper just like the container.
easy, right? Next container is the most important one for layouting, which is the grid. Grid has two types, container and item. The container has 12 columns. And then we can set how big our grid item columns are in the attribute. There are five screen size attributes that you already knew too. XS, SM, MD, LG, XL. It means we can adjust the column size by each of the screen size. Very flexible, right? Let's give our item 12 columns for XS screen size. It means screen larger than zero width. Because we set 12 columns, it means one row. Let's see. Okay, great. Now we want to make this only using six columns on a larger screen size. We can set it using SM6. Nice. Please note that it's very flexible that you can also set the columns for MD, LG, and XL screen size. How to know how large the screen size for XS, SM, and or the others? You can see it on their website and you can find the default value on their page within the breakpoint object. I will give the link on the video description. Now we know how to lay out using grid. We can create our form. First, textbook element. It appears we need a placeholder. In text field, we can use label instead of a placeholder because it acts like it and better. You can choose the style of the text field using variant attribute. It has three types. Standard, which is what you see before. Field and contain. I think this field is too small. Let's make its width follow the grid column using full width. And now we can see that it needs spacing between the columns. We can add spacing on the grid container using spacing attributes. Just like before, 1 means 8 pixels, 2 means 2 times 8 pixels, which is 16 pixels. Nice, right? Let's create our next field, email. We still use text field for this one. See, when we resize our screen, it uses 12 columns instead of 6. For this, we want it to be 12 columns in all conditions, so we don't need the SM attribute. Next field that we will make is gender. We can use radio group for this one. And for the option, we use form control label with value male, label male, and control using radio component because we want using radio for the option. I think it needs label to let the user know that it is a gender option. We can use form label for gender. Nice. Let's add one more option, female. Great, right? It's already working like we want because it is inside radio group. Let's say that we want to make it horizontal instead of vertical. Just add row attribute inside radio group element. Next field is Hobbies. Usually we use checkbox for this one. Add label first. Instead of using something like radio group, 
we use form group for this one. Again, like radio, we do use form control label for our options. But we are using checkbox for control and not radio. This way, we use checkbox as our option. Makes sense, right? Let's add all our hobbies, basketball, coding, and table tennis. Nice, I love it. Again, to make it horizontal, just add row attribute on the form group. Next field is select your gift. We will be using select for this one. Okay, we need placeholder. For select, we use input label as our placeholder. It's not appearing on the right position. We need form control to contain them. So, the input label can appear on the right position. Now, give full width on form control so all the components inside will use full width. For the option, use menu item. What's for the gift? Hmm, I think I will use money and more. Last, we need our submit button. Use button component. Button also has styles. You can adjust it using variant attribute. The default for this is text. Now let's try outline. Contain. Okay, I'll use the contain one. Set our color using the color attribute. I use primary color for now and make it full width. Now our form is done. In the next video, we'll use forming for our form handling. See ya!